So, crazy day today. We were planning a trip to Chanarai Beach. Don't know if I got that correct. And as you can see, this is what happened to me. <laughs> so basically, we hopped on the bike, headed to the edge of Fort Kochi to catch a ferry. And from that ferry, we were then going to go across to Chanarai. really popping off out there as well. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear this. Cat's having a little scrap. So anyway, so we get on the ferry, which was super cheap, mind. It was six rupees, which is equivalent of like half a penny for two people. So we get on this, this cargo style boat that you can drive onto and then it ferries you across. Now when I'm on there, I'm on there with a bike and I have this, someone points out to me that I have a fuel leak. That uh, fuel's dripping out of my bike, okay? And there's a fuel leak. So I'm there, I'm there, I'm on my hands and knees holding this pipe. There's like this pipe where all my fuel's leaking out. So I'm holding this pipe, I'm covered in fuel, covered in dirt, and I'm just on this boat cramped with loads of Indians. And it's just leaking and leaking, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, I couldn't even fix it on the boat because it was too tight. So I'm just sat there, covered in, oil, in fuel, holding it. So then we get off, and I push the bike off. Luckily, a few people helped me. And as I grab the bike, it falls, and I grab the bike with this arm, my left arm, and as it falls, it pulls my arm and dislocates my shoulder. Now, this isn't the first time I've dislocated my shoulder. I've done it about five times in the past two years. And I've been seeking some sort of holistic medicine because I don't want to have surgery, but it seems to continually happen. But this time was one of the worst times. I have like hundreds of Indian people looking at me, like I can't get it back in. Usually I can get my shoulder back in. So Mackenzie comes along and she tends to pull my arm. So I stick my arm out like this and she pulls it. Kaboom! And it pops back in. Now this time it wouldn't pop back in. And you could see it. It was a, almost a full dislocate. And the longer it wouldn't go back in, the more it started hurting and hurting. And then people around me are going crazy. Like everyone's watching. I've got about hundreds of Indian people all looking at me. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out, apart from me! <laughs> Everyone's freaking out, and I'm trying to stay calm. So then, this lady runs over, and she's like, Ayurveda, Ayurveda Hospital. So, me and Mackenzie ditch the bike, run around the corner to the Ayurveda Hospital. Luckily, it was literally round the corner. It was about 100 paces. So when we get around there, there's a girl in there, I'm showing her what's up, and it's, it's now 15, 20 minutes in and I start sweating loads. I, I'm about to pass out and luckily Mackenzie comes over, she keeps me conscious, she gives me water and every time my head drops she come back, come back and then quick thinking from Mackenzie, she looks online how to relocate a shoulder and this one told me to do, to lift my shoulder like this. So I do that and boom, pops straight back in. Instantly, stop sweating, back to reality, I feel great. Okay, now, the woman's asked me, do I still need the Ayurveda doctor? Um, I'm kind of like, hmm, but Mackenzie tells me I definitely should. So, we wait around for this doctor to turn up. And, interesting thing is, we were very excited to see what Ayurveda medicine was all about. So, I got to experience it firsthand, which was insane. Ayurveda originated 3,000 years ago in India. It is a natural system of medicine that strives to maintain the balance between the mind, body, and consciousness. In Sanskrit, Ayurveda translates to the knowledge of life. First Ayurvedic experience! This is cool! This is 
soak it. Do you mind if I take this off? Soak it. Soak it with sweat, because I almost passed out. Here's the doctor who helped us with our bike as well. Okay, because it had to be like that. Then only this will be. So, oh, okay. It's fine. Oh. And he gets me to sit on a chair facing forwards. And then he, he lays my arm out and he starts to massage it and feel where the pain is. And he starts to like stick his finger up into like the pocket of my of like my armpit. Now um, asking me where I feel pain and he starts massaging it. And he comes back with this oil which he tells me that this was from off-grid tribes. The people from the tribe will not sell it to anybody but an Ayurveda practitioner who has been trained by them. So this keeps it safe and secret. So he was very, he wouldn't tell us where he got it from or, being, or too many ingredients that was in there. But it was like an oil made from the skins of plants, which he, he starts to massage into my arm once he's massaged it a little bit, he starts to work on relocating my shoulder. Because even though I had relocated it myself, it hadn't fully relocated. There was still a small dislocation. And he tells me to let my arm go limp. And he cradles my elbow. And he starts pushing up into my armpit. Some, some weird way that I've never experienced before. And he does it several times and then all of a sudden you hear a click. Small click, and he's like, done. We'll make a whole video. Keenan, stop that. <laughs> so, after he's oiled my shoulder, and he's relocated it, he comes, he goes out of the back, and he comes back with this, this linen bag, which he's twisted up, and inside is fresh herbs, but it's steamed. So, now he's pushing this all over me. Is this like, can you tell me more about this bag? These are uh, herbals and leaves of that. They yes. boil and they make heat. Okay. And you're keeping this little uh, his body inside. Be and it's, is it like a massage kind of? Massage and the medicine. Is it steamy and a little? Medicine, I think. Actually, we got like five types of leaves. Five types of leaves? Yeah, herbs. Okay, okay, herbs. of herbs. First leaf we cut. Okay. We cut small pieces and make. And you boil them? Yeah. Just make a warm Then we make like this bag. Cool. How fresh? How, like when you pick, how long until you have to use them? Yeah. Well, that day. Yeah. So they're not dried? So then they have to use them the day they pick. Every day, every day. Every day. He then goes out the back and he gets this powder, one teaspoon of powder. He mixes it in a bowl with some water and it creates this thick black tarry kind of paste. And he starts to rub it on it. To which I ask him, what is this? Because it smells like mint. And he tells me it's made from five ingredients. One ingredient is aloe vera. The other one is a mint that I don't quite know what he called it. He didn't tell me the other three, which is fine, because I understand that from the Ayurveda tradition is probably a secret. So he, it was nice of him to tell me several of them. Now he's rubbing it in and all of a sudden it starts to soothe. It's, it starts to, the pain starts to go away. So he does this rap, which he says they use in their martial arts called Kalari. As you can see, you can still see the black paste. He's told me to wash it off later tonight. But this is crazy. Like, this setup he's got me in is so good because it's like, it's not tight, but it's not loose. And when I let my arm drop, it supports it more. The more my arm drops, the more it supports. It's super comfortable. I can't believe it. I look like a cool warrior. Oh. <laughs> After he's bandaged me up, he's given me this. This is the bag for one teaspoon of medicine. So he says, I take one teaspoon of this, which is your five herbs mixed, or plants, aloe vera and the mint, etc. So one teaspoon. Mix it around with some water and then apply the paste in the morning. He's asked me to do this for two days and then return to him. And when I return to him, he seems to think I'm going to be sorted. I'm very excited to see if this holistic Ayurveda medicine is the answer 
to my shoulder problems because I really don't want to get surgery. Payment. So I asked him how much how much is this? Thinking, oh my god, this is gonna sting, I'm at a hospital, I'm at doctors, it's gonna be a lot of money. Five hundred rupees. Now I tried to give him more money and he's like, no no no. In the end, he allows me to give the money to his temple as an offering, so I put it down as an offering. So I'm sat there, once more fixed, I'm like, can I still go to Chamarai Beach? And he's like, who's riding the bike? I was like, me? She's like, no, 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 no. She rides. And I'm like, yeah, maybe we don't go today. <laughs> Everyone laughs, loves that. Only joking, she's a great driver. <laughs> So we decide the best course of action is to sack off the beach sunset and to leave the bike there and catch the ferry back and walk back. So we stop off, we have a little bit of food from a hole in the wall, we meet a great old lady, she teaches me some new Malayalam and she loved us. And we got local prices, Malayalam, speak the language, you get local prices. So then we go and queue up, get on the ferry, we sail across the ferry, and then once we land, we bump into three Indian people from Kerala. But anyway, they were great people, and we had a wonderful chat. And we think they're going to be friends for a, we're going to be friends for a long time. So the best and worst part about this, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, not for me, but for everyone else, it's funny. Turns out that pipe that was leaking fuel. And falling off an injector, it was an overflow, a bloody overflow. Because I'm on a boat, I just fueled up full, and there's this pipe that, when it rocks, stops the fuel coming out of the fuel cap and overflows out of a bottom pipe. So I didn't even have a leak. I didn't even have a leak. I was just losing fuel from the overflow. So there's nothing even wrong. So all of that. Well, even though Man's on today that hustle, ended up being kind of a bust. I had a great not, time. <laughs> it's not about the beach. It's about the fact that we had our first Ayurvedic experience. Keenan's shoulder is doing a lot better. And we made three new friends. Yeah, and um, you can't hit a coconut every time, Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs>